time since since we were married about how we could help military families. And since I had a military background, that was attractive to, to be able to work with them. And, and with our success in doing small groups with, with couples, uh, made us ideal to be able to help married couples in the military who struggle with deployment and do to this day. Mm -hmm. So we went on staff full time officially in January of 2005. And moved from Jupiter to <laughs> Smithfield, Virginia. Yes. <laughs> what a change. Yes. Shocked our whole family because they thought we were going to be in retirement in Jupiter. But God had a bigger plan for us. And so we were on a brand new adventure together. Breakwater has helped so many families that had no hope. And that it's, it's I think it, I think the style of coaching that they do is something that is not the cultural norm in our country. And I think that if it grows and expands and does more, I think it can really be, you know, a lot more than it is now. You know, they've helped thousands of families. And, Generationals. You know, it... we have hundreds of thousands of families that need that. <laughs> and I think uh, their, their approach is unique. And uh, I think it's kind of like a frontier kind of thing. Everybody needs to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, because um, I've been through so many things with, with Breakwater, one of the things we went through was the UP program, and that um, really God uh, put me in the direction of getting my, um, my certification so that I could coach women and uh, lead groups. And it's just, that's been such a rewarding experience, being able to... Um, you know, to help other people uh, the way they helped me. And so, you know, and it's it's fun, you know, because if, as far as the women, Cindy's still part of our journey. So, you know, we pull her in. She's like the, the superstar, you know, the superstar comes in. And, and we just, we still, she's always teaching us and we're learning from her. And she, um, she still stays a part of all those ministries as well. And, and just, te she's teaching us more and more every day. I don't want to really show myself or I can kind of like, I just kept keep myself guarded. And with Cindy and Dave, that kind of went out the window very quickly. Um, not because I, I, they like saw through me or anything, it's because I actually genuinely wanted them to see who I was because I knew that they had something that, that, um, that was so, I guess, uh, I could see the, the difference in them and I wanted my life to change in a way that I could have a relationship with people that was actually healthy and I knew, um, well I didn't know it for sure but I had, I had a, uh, I guess I had a premonition that Cindy and I both were hiding a lot of, or we've been through a lot of hurt and um, her just, you know, seeing how awesome her relationship with Dave was, I was like, okay, there's hope for me to get to the other side of this. And so I guess that's what really, where it started. I was just able to open up much quicker than I could with anybody else. And I uh, just formed a bond with both of them, um, as well as Amber, we all did. Um, and we just kind of said, hey, this is, this is who we really are. And they loved us through everything and they helped us to have an incredible relationship, be able to communicate and um, so I guess to answer that question, it was um, just, I recognized a, a real genuine sense of somebody truly wanting to help me be a better person. And I, I took the opportunity. You know, just sharing, um, being vulnerable, you know, that was, that was something that it really changes my relationship with my wife and really changed me in terms of different issues that I had dealing with. Um, I was able to communicate them and share them with others. So, you know, for me that was, that was really good. 
I mean, Breakwater is the ministry itself changes lives. And if I could um, tell anyone a message about Breakwater is that when you come in contact with Breakwater, um, without a shadow of a doubt, there is gonna be some change. Whether it's a small change, a huge change, it's gonna be the beginning of change for sure. Um, I've come in contact with many people and many ministry, but to be able to come to a place where you can just be open it's almost like you're, and I know it's kind of sound cliche, it's almost like you're standing there before God and you can just bear your soul. And it's just that healing power, God's power, just flowing through um, this ministry. And if I could say anything to anyone, it would be, you know, this is definitely a, a transformational ministry. God is here. I mean, God is here, and the Holy Spirit does work through what Breakwater does. So I came to Breakwater um, five years ago, I believe, for the Breakthrough Retreat. And at that time, I was in a really dark, bad place in my life. Um, because of that retreat, um, God worked on my heart. God showed me a new way to live and a new outlook on life. And so he changed my life into what I needed to be. He got me back on track where I needed to be. A couple that had only been married a couple years. And when they left our house, they had made the decision to divorce and I cried because I said they haven't really given marriage a chance. They'd only been married a couple years and we started praying for that couple and about six months later they came back to us and decided that they were going to give it another chance and hope was restored, trust was built within the relationship and they're still married today and they have impacted hundreds of couples with their testimony of God's redeeming love in their lives. That, that was the most rewarding part for me in that, because I saw the change, in particular in him, uh, because he, he just was said, I'm done with all of this. And when he came back, he said, I'm ready to go to work. And we're gonna make this thing go. Mm -hmm. And we knew that it was a direct result of prayer, yeah. Yeah. that God had softened his heart. So when you see change like that, it's uh, it's not only very rewarding for what you've been able to, to participate with them in it, we know the Holy Spirit is, is in charge of it, but it, it certainly is encouraging to us to continue doing that when you see that kind of change. Mm -hmm. We had a, an intensive weekend. Yes. Marriage 911, it was when we were at the Winter Haven office. So we're on the second floor and they, the couple actually left. They left with their contract. They had a plan. And a couple of bottles of water because they were going to have drive for a while. And one of the things that we had exhorted them to do was to have more fun in their relationship. Absolutely. They said, you're not having enough fun. They, they worked said, oh. really hard. They did a lot of ministry. And they just weren't putting enough fun into the relationship. So lo and behold, we get a text message from them. And they had gotten into the elevator to leave. And the elevator was stuck between the first and second floor. And they called the fire department or the, or the, from the phone in, in the thing. And then he texted me, or I guess us, and said, this is where I am. So immediately we went down the hallway to, and sure enough, the elevator was stuck. We could talk to him, but we couldn't, couldn't get him out. I mean, it was just enough in between the two floors that we couldn't get him out of, of there. <laughs> and she was in a knee brace recovering from surgery. So yes. we knew this was serious. Yeah. And they had to get out. So the fireman shows up and they don't have a key to the elevator because it's 100 years old and they can't find a way to loosen the elevator. And so- To release it, to go to either up or down. Exactly. So the only <clears throat> way to get them out is to pull them out. And so they are- But, but that happened after a while when they tried everything else. So when they were able to open the elevator doors, which took about an hour, yeah. they could hear them singing and they were 
down in the elevator and they were having the best time and they looked at the fireman and they said well our coaches told us to have fun so we're gonna make a party out of this and they were having a little party in the elevator and they were not letting the stress of it get to them and that was because the uh, the fireman that was standing there trying to get in there he said he turned to me and he said you're not gonna believe this I'm hearing singing in there and they've already been in there for a couple hours so we eventually had to get them out over the top of the they, they got him out, the fireman did. They had to carry her out, I believe, because yeah. her knee was disabled. But they got them out successfully. And, and they were still smiling. Yeah. We were all stressed out because we were worried about them. And they were having the time of their lives. And they said, it's time for us to have fun in our marriage. And so they, we took them to lunch before they headed out just to be sure everybody was OK. <laughs> So sometimes it's not the foundational principles that you teach during the weekend at all. It's what God does with the experience after they leave, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. It was funny. It wasn't funny at the time, but it's turned out to be funny. It turned out okay. Yeah. It would be, it would have to be one word that's tough, that's very tough, but... why I say safe because um, as a woman in ministry um, when I came in contact with breakwater they just um, it was just it felt safe that I could just pour out my heart and just be myself with all the junk that was going on and I just felt loved and it just felt like a safe place yes I would concur um, that um, when I met Cindy and David I was a little bit hesitant in terms of um, what to expect, but um, the warmth they show us, um, I was able to communicate with them without um, having any issues of wondering if I would be judged, and um, that was very important for me. So it's not one word, but it's two. <laughs> um, Life-changing. Let's say new beginnings. Well, that's two words. <laughs> word. Well, I think it's actually, I would go with hope for sure. I think it's given me hope that no matter any situation that I've been in, in a relationship, whether it's my spouse or even people that are close to me, it just always gives me hope knowing that there's a better way to communicate and there's a, a better way, or there's, it just helps you to understand people better to uh, understand their heart, not get defensive, and react to people. So it gives me hope knowing that I can pretty much go into any situation and I have the tools to, to get myself to the other side the best way possible. I was just trying to look for the word where I, I felt where, you know, I never felt like I could be anything to help anybody, you know. And now we're we are coaching people and helping them. And, you know, and, and I never two years ago I would have never thought So new beginnings. We would do that. So I mean I, I gotta use two words. Let's say new beginnings. <laughs> I 
restoration. One of the scriptures that Gloria used to share with me frequently is God will restore what the locusts have eaten away. And we've seen, we've witnessed stories from couples where you think only God could keep this marriage together. And he has, and he will. And there is literally nothing that a couple cannot recover from if they will allow God to restore what the locusts have eaten away. So, restoration. My word is hope. That so often couples coming in here saying, if this doesn't work, we're, we're out of here. We're not, we're not going to remain together. So often when couples come in here and we first assess what they need and, and our, on our ability to be able to help them, uh, after an hour with them, we, we say, What's, what do you take from this conversation we just had? And very, very often they say, we now have hope that this can be better and we can have a marriage that is not only what we had or even better than that. And so I think my one word is hope. We've given people an opportunity to have hope and when they do, things begin to turn around in the positive.